But you wrote a story which said, a former male lover of right-wing Tory, um, right Tory, that's me, is believed to have the killer disease AIDS. Now blonde bachelor Proctor's worried pals are trying to persuade him to take an AIDS test. And then you went on with other uh, comments, and you say, and one friend revealed, we're very worried for Harvey. The other man has lost a lot of weight, and though he's only 30, he looks really old and haggard. Now, I checked my records, mm. having seen this and hearing that you were on this programme. You never tried to get a quote from me on that occasion. I can defend that in the sense that I remember that story well. It came out on a Friday night. I wrote it very, very late on a Friday night, charged into the office with it early on the Saturday morning, and then went on another story. That, unfortunately, was left to somebody else to do. I certainly left you. The only number I had for you was your full well, and flat. Well, I how, can only defend well, me on well, that. Yes. How, but, how, 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 conven how convenient for passing the bus. Yeah, having said that, I... Uh, convenient yeah. for passing the bus. This was under an exclusive right. under your name. Mm. And that story and I later discovered to be wrong, which I will admit now. In fact, I met the person who was believed to be the person who had AIDS. Oh, right. And, and, and so you're, what, what so that you're, that? you're telling the, your viewers yeah, now uh, that, that, that the story was no basis in that story. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is, at that point, I'd picked up that story from an extremely good source, a very, very reliable yes. source I've been using for some time. Yes. And how long after this occasion did you realise that it was completely felonious and false? Probably about four months later. Right. And did you, in the same page and in the same headings and in the same length, put it right? No. Thank you. Nobody asked me to.